Hi Pisces, these messages are going to be for November 25th through December 2nd, 2023. Be sure you guys are following me on my other platforms, other social media like TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and know that I'll never solicit or DM you. If you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so through my Etsy shop. It is safe and secure. And let's get into this reading for you. This is going to be angel messages. What do you need to know about the energy around you? So we'll start with tarot. So we have six of wands in reverse. So I feel like this is you having more like a negative outlook or a negative attitude about a situation or you're feeling like it can only be a negative outcome or you're like imagining, you know, the worst. Um, it's things about the past too, I feel like that are surfacing and you feel like you either still would have liked an apology or would have liked to give it an apology. There's something with that. Um, but it could be something deeper, like a person that's not here anymore, perhaps, like someone that passed away um, that maybe you had some unfinished business with. Um, it could be somebody in your life that you feel like you have unfinished business with. Um, or it could be a bunch of people that you feel like you have, you know, unfinished business. Um, you could also be dealing with narcissistic people around you. Um, people who are selfish and they're all about themselves and they are spoiled and they have um, an entitled attitude and they think that they can just take your energy whenever they want um, and they don't replenish it in any way. So I feel like you're pouring yourself into a lot of people that are just, they're wasting, they're wasting it. Um, I also feel like your confidence might be lower, um, but you know, you need to do something for you that gives you a lift. Like whether it's going to be like, I don't know, maybe a makeover, like cut your hair, like buy a new wardrobe if you can, like a new, a new something nice for yourself. You know, I feel like that is something that, you know, you need every once in a while. Um, I also feel like, again, if you're dealing with narcissistic people, uh, these people are like bratty, almost like children. Um, and, and it almost seems as if they want to pick fights just to do so. Um, or just provoke feelings in people to get reactions and gain energy. Um, or you have people around you that are very hungry for attention and needy for it. But these people need deep healing. Um, there's not much you can do to change them, unfortunately. But I feel like you got to focus on you. You got to start putting the energy back on you. Start putting energy on yourself for the things you want, for your health, for your wellness, for whatever it is. Start putting some energy back on you. Absolutely. All right, let's see what your angel message is. So we have 14. 14 could be a lucky number for you. Um, have no fear. Fear is an ego trap and allow me to use my sword of light, Michael the Archangel. This is Michael the Archangel energy. Um, use my sword of light to free you from the disquieting feelings that you're holding back. So yeah, you might not be saying what you want to say. You might really be saying one thing, but you want to say another, okay? And I feel like you're doing that because you don't want to provoke fights or you don't want to upset people or maybe you're told a white lie or whatever it is. But I feel like th there's other people around you sensing this, okay? Um, life is scary, we know, and things can change, boom, like that. But I feel like... Um, you might be terrified about the unknown or worried about the future for whatever it is. Maybe it's a health concern. Maybe it's something with money or, or with your job or with a partner. But it's like it does no good to stress about the future because we put energy into that. And that energy picks up on the law of attraction. The law of attraction either works in our favor or against us. So we want it to work in our favor. So we have to put positive energy out there if possible. We have to try to transform it, transmute it, you know, in any way we can, whether this is changing our environment and being around more upbeat, happy, you know, lively people, um, or if it's changing your job, if you need to change your job, it's, it's anything, you know, you need to do to kind of like go to war against your own ego, because that's where the fear really is kind of like making more catastrophes around you, if that makes any sense. You're meant to live your best life. You're meant to live in peace. You're meant to be happy. So just know that, okay? Don't fear the future. I feel like your angels are around you, and they are really doing the best they can to try to, you know, let you know they're there and feel that energy and know that they're helping you. 
So pay close attention to your patterns and let go of those that are merely reactions to life. Yes, Pisces. And check back next week.